News coming in from the state of Karnataka. Former Karnataka Chief Minister Yeri Rupa now faces prosecution in Karnataka's COVID scam. A report has recommended that prosecution of former Karnataka Chief Minister B.S. Rediupa and then the Health Minister under Section 7 of the Prevention of Corruption Act should take place. The recommendation stems from allegations regarding discrepancies that took place in 2020 procurement of PPE kits from a Chinese company. Now, this was the time when the COVID pandemic was raging. It is B.S. Rediupa who is defending this and saying no need to worry about the prosecution that has been recommended by the report. We have done everything as per law during COVID. They have political intentions and there is no point in looking at what the report says. We are very confident that we have done nothing wrong. Any investigation, the truth will come out once the investigation is ending. The Congress is trying to dig the past. This is the BJP that is now slamming Siddharamaya and saying that this report is based only on assumptions. With regards to the COVID scam, now a report recommends that prosecution should be done of the former Chief Minister of the State of Karnataka, B.S. Yediupa. Now this was with regards to some discrepancies that came to the fore during the 2020 procurement of PPE kits from a Chinese company. Now this was the time when COVID was raging in the state of Karnataka. However, B.S. Yediupa has defended himself and he has said that he is not worried about the COVID prosecution. He goes ahead and says he's done nothing wrong and everything that was done in the state of Karnataka during COVID was as per law. Also goes ahead and says that the recommendation that has been made, it is done because of political intentions. Let's listen in to what B.S. Rediupa said. Party at that time that uh, these people are, uh, you know, looting during the time of crisis. That is uh, proved now. This commission proves that they misused the opportunity that they got during COVID when uh, rules were not being, you know, strictly adhered to, to use that to benefit themselves and to amass huge wealth and loss for the state exchequer. And they made money out of uh, COVID. You know, this is the worst thing. You know, when people are suffering and people are dying, people are dying on the street. <laughs> ಸಾಧ್ಯ <laughs> Uh, my colleague Patience Nagarjun is now joining me on the story. Nagarjun, very interesting times if we speak about politics in the state of Karnataka. At the moment, both the current chief minister as well as the former chief minister are looking at corruption charges against them. While Sidharamaya has appeared before the Lokayukta in, in terms of the Muda sites issued to him, now the government has put out the uh, Inquiry Commission report on COVID scam and the Inquiry Commission clearly states the former Chief Minister, Mr. Edurappa, as well as Health Minister Sri Ramlu in 2020 had benefited from a purchase of PPE kits from a Chinese company, is what we are told, up to 14 crores lost to the exchequer. And this is just a tip of the iceberg is what the government is claiming. We heard the Health Minister, Minister Dinesh Kundarao, saying that our allegations back then have proven wrong. This is not the government allegation. This is an inquiry report 
done by the former justice uh, michael d kuna of karnataka high court he has given the enquiry report and said that they the former chief minister and health minister have to be prosecuted as prima facie some corruption is seen in purchase of ppe kits you nagarjun for giving us those details and voting things in perspective interesting times in karnataka politics both the current chief minister as well as the former chief minister now looking at corruption allegations against them